Hello YouTube, this is JTech95. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of just looking at a computer, playing some games, and looking at the specs, we're actually going to be building one today. This is going to be a 286 build. We'll talk a little bit more about the internals of the machine, and what we got inside, and uh, basically the process of how we're going to go about getting it put together. So why don't you go grab a snack or a cup of coffee, whatever suits your fancy, and kick back and relax, and we'll get started on the 286 build, today on JTech95. Welcome back to JTech95. Today we're going to be putting together a 286 machine with this guy right here. What we've got here is an ECS 286-NEAT, or a NEAT 286. <laughs> Uh, this board has got the Chips and Technologies CS8221 chipset with an AMD 286 processor running at 16 MHz and an Intel 8287 math code processor running at 10 MHz. I wanted to get a faster one, but this was the quickest one I could get available and one of the least expensive ones. So it'll help a little bit. Originally this board had um, SIM sockets, or SIP socket RAM, but these two have been upgraded to, um, SIMs, um, so SIPs and upgraded to SIMs, yep. Just easier to get a hold of, easier to come by, and a little easier to manage. It's got three 8-bit ISA slots and five 16-bit ISA slots. The board should be relatively quick for the time given that it's a 16 megahertz um it did have a varda battery originally but the previous owner removed it and he put on this it's a green film that kind of protects the board especially if you've done um any soldering or r repair of leads or traces and as you can see here there is a little bit of it looks like he did do some trace repair under here. It's kind of hard to see. But, yeah. I did pre-test the board to make sure it would work. It does boot. That just kind of saves us a step. Now, uh, let's take a look at what else we got inside, or going inside the machine. So, for the case, we got just this generic AT-style case. Um, drive A is going to be this IBM five and a quarter inch floppy drive 360k capacity B drive is going to be this three and a half inch um, 1.44 meg drive and the hard drive is an ST a Seagate ST3491A um, roughly 430 megabytes so that should be just fine more than enough for a 286 I've already got some programs and things installed on this hard drive to kind of save us time so we don't have to go through the install process and everything else. I got it loaded with MS-DOS 6.22 and Windows 3.0. So we're going to get that booted up here as soon as we get the machine put together. So uh, let's real quick take a look at the cards that are going to be going inside of this machine. Now for the controller card in this machine, we're going to be using this Windbond card. It's a W83757F with, you know, ports for serial and parallel and the game port and um, um, ID and floppy. A little basic card, don't need an awful lot. For video, we're going to be using this Oak Technologies OTI 087X. Um, for the time, this was one of the better video cards you could get. It's a 16-bit ISA card capable of Super VGA. Um, I had a couple options that I could have used. For example, I could have used this T-Seng ET4000, but I kind of want to hold on to this for a future build. And this Trident TVGA 8900C. But I've already got several machines that already have um, Trident cards in them. And I got a hold of this Oak one, and from what I've heard, they weren't horrible. And on a 286, it should be more than enough. So I wanted to give it a shot. So let's um, let's move forward 
and get into the actual building and putting together the assembly of the machine. Well, now that we got the machine all set up and ready to go, let's um, fire her up, get the BIOS all set up, and uh, run some games and some programs. See what this machine's made of. So let's get started. There it goes. Well, we got a post. That's a good thing. Make sure she counts the one meg on board and the two meg in the RAM sticks. we go. Let's get into the BIOS here. Get everything all set up. Yep. That makes sense. Let's get into the BIOS. Alright, here we go. Now let's see. Get the date and time set up here really quick. Let's see. It is April 30th. 2023 and the time is 8, eight four, There we go. Drive A is, yes, 360K. Drive B, that is incorrect. There we go. Flop, or hard disk type. Good thing I wrote this down. 1024, 16 heads, 51 sectors. There we go. Primary display is VGA or EGA. Keyboard is installed. Now, See how she goes. Okay, we can skip this now. X CMOS checksum failure. Okay. Okay, it must be in here. Okay. So on this motherboard, it's got a slightly different chipset. Chip, chip set setup program than what most machines may have had. It's a little more involved. So let's see. Improper use of the setup may cause the system to fail normal operations. Okay, well, good to know. Let's see. One weight state on the memory. That's fine. Let's see here. We'll enable the video shadow. Memory interleave. I've had issues with some machines this old so we're going to disable that for now. Let's see here. Oh boy. Okay, revision number, alternate CPU reset. Let's see here. None of these I really have to mess with. Let's see, AT 8 bit memory command. So delay is 1, B clock cycle. Okay. It's fine. 16-bit AT cycle weight state. Let's see, we have that to one weight state. That's all right. Ten weight states? Mm, that seems like a bit much. Let's set that to two. 
just for grins, just for grins. If it acts up, we'll go back later. I'm not going to mess with that. Let's see here. Uh, Shadow Ram, Rewrite Enable, that's fine. Uh, Ram on System Board, System Board, System Board. Uh, we can skip all these, I think. Bank, 0 and 1, they are 256K um, dip um, RAM, so yep, that's correct. Uh, number of RAM banks used, one, one equals two, yep. Page interleaved, I'll leave that normal. Uh, let's, hmm, let's try not relocating the RAM. RAM access weight states. Let's leave that at one. EMS, no, not really worried about it. Don't need that. Oh, uh, one megabyte bits, yeah. Uh, zero equals one, yep, of one bank. Interleave, two way, that's fine. And the rest of these are all for EMS memory. And. Everything in here should be all right. And see what these are. Uh, these are the three different um, parts of the chipset on the board. This is the ADC two, ADC2C206, the ADC2C212B, and the ADC, ADC2C211. Three main chips in the chipset on the motherboard. And these are the settings you can manually set for all three chips. A little bit different, but you know what? It's kind of interesting. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's uh, write the CMOS registers and exit. Move my chair there. Let's see. I can skip this. See if she'll boot into DOS like I have loaded on the drive. There we go. Well, she loaded HiMem just fine. Let's see. Whoops. It sits on this drive. Let's see, we got games, utilities, Norton Commander, Windows. Let's really quick check out Windows. <laughs> I made that a couple weeks ago in preparation for this video. If you're not sure what this is, what it is, it's a um, it's a quoted line from uh, Weird Al's Weird Al Yankovic's video um, and song. It's all about the Pentiums. <laughs> I had to throw that in there in case y'all didn't know what I was talking about. Let's see here. Uh, control panel. We can change the color here. Let's change it to something else. Let's see. Let's see, ocean. Ah, that's pretty close. Wing tips. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's kind of boring. Let's try that. Let's try something else. Eh, to Easter. Fluorescent. Ooh, there we go. That's something a little different. I like that. All right, let's see. We got a couple games installed on here with Windows. We got Reversi, which I'm really bad at. Whoops. Um, like I said, I'm not the greatest. 
by any stretch of the imagination. At this point, I'm just clicking random spots and see how far I get. Mm. Oh, hush. Oh, I know. Let's see. Uh, maybe... Uh, 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 uh. You lost by 24. Yeah, that's fine, I kind of had a feeling. But yeah, there's not really a lot to show in here, so let's uh, exit out of Windows. Let's run a couple games here and see how it goes. Let's see. Actually, you know what? First, we're going to go in, we're going to reboot the computer and get into um, Landmark and see what this system ranks at. There we go. CD. Do LM60. There we go. Let's move this a little bit. That's better. So right now we're getting a score of 18.2 roughly on the processor. 10.3 on the Mathco processor and uh, 3,795 on the video. Not bad. The computer is performing like an 18 megahertz AT with a 10 megahertz 8287. Honestly, I wasn't expecting much of a boost considering that the processor is a 16 megahertz and I stuck a 10 megahertz um, math co processor in there, but you know, it's a slight improvement over stock. Let's uh, exit out of here. Reboot one more time, get high mem running again. Let's try out a couple games here. I like that splash for the um, Oak Technologies card. That looks cool to me. Let's see. Let's see what games we got on here. So we got Prince of Persia, Wolfenstein 3D, King's Quest 2, Commander Keen, uh, Lemmings, Catacomb Abyss. You know what? Let's uh, let's try Wolf 3D and then Catacomb Abyss. she runs. Oh, you have to s type start. There we go. Try this again. A soft disk publishing production. Gamer's Edge presents the Catacomb Abyss 3D. Select one of the following options. Let's see. Uh, we don't need any of that. Let's, uh, let's play the game. Prepare to enter the catacomb. I'm uh, expecting this is going to take a minute, considering the type of machine I'm running this on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Any day now. There we go. The Mad Gamers of Gamer's Edge present a soft disk publishing production. The enter new game. Okay. Do you challenge? Dare you challenge the great nemesis as a novice or warrior? Let's do novice. Ha! Another novice to feed my pets. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go, and we're about to see how this game responds. You stand before the gate leading into the town cemetery. Night is falling as mournful wails mingle with the sound of your pounding heart. Equipped with your wits and the secret knowledge of magic, you venture forth on your quest to upset the dark schemes of Nemesis, your arch-rival. Okay. Well. Let's see what kind of bad guy this guy actually is. Let's see if it'll even load. It should. There we go. Okay.
Oh, there we go. Here's a guy. I can hardly see where he came from. There we go. There he is. Comes a little sluggish, but considering what kind of machine I'm running it on, it's kind of hard to control in all honesty. Oh. This is a odd title. Let's see here. Yeah. Honestly, this is the first time I've ever played this game, so I'm honestly not sure exactly where I'm supposed to go. Maybe I shoot the wall? Oh, there we go. Key. Okay. This is almost like Wolfenstein 3D, but a lot worse graphics. Oh! There we go. up on me there, didn't you? Oh, another one of you. Okay. Oh, there's a red key. Thought I heard someone behind me. I guess not. Okay, I have a red key. I believe... Oh, another one of you. Okay. Starting to wake up a little bit now that they know I'm here. Nope. <sighs> Not gonna lie, I'm sure at the time period this game was fantastic, but as it stands right now, it's a little boring. Oh, hey, another one of you. Need a blue key. Okay. Well, uh. Let's try another game. Fare thee well. Not a horrible game, but a little, uh, a little boring for my tastes, but that's okay. I'm sure it's a wonderful game. One day I'm actually going to sit down and actually play it all the way through. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever played that game, so... Well, we'll, I'll try it again in the future and see what I think. But for right now, let's do something I'm a little more familiar with. Let's play some Wolfenstein 3D. Eventually, I am going to put a sound card in here, but as it stands right now, all I have is some Viber 16s, a Sound Blaster 32, and some things like that. And I really would rather not put any of those in here. I'd like to get an early Sound Blaster, like a Sound Blaster 1 or 2, or even a Sound Blaster Pro. But the prices on them are quite expensive, so for right now, the PC speaker will do just fine. In the future, I might do an update video if I ever get one of those sound cards for this. And we'll install it and see what kind of sound we get out of them. Because I've never actually heard one in person, an early Sound Blaster. I'm going to bring that down because I know that this is a 286 and I know it's probably going to run kind of bad. Get psyched. Well, let's see what we've got here. Move my keyboard a little bit so I can reach a little better. There we go. Oh, in all honesty, that's not too bad. really not bad at all. 
I'm going to bring that screen size back down. I thought it saved it. Oh, you know what? I may not. I didn't hit enter to accept. There we go. I escaped last time. So go back to game. Let's see if this runs a little better. Oh, yeah. A little bit better. Honestly, this is... I would call this playable. Okay. Got the guard dogs. Whoop. Almost missed you there, Fido. Get some food, bring health back up. Dog got me a couple times. Some clips. Okay. Uh, and that's a jail cell. So. Already went that way. Let's see, I'm gonna go this way. thought there's a secret area in here. Sure is. Ooh. There we go. There's a gun upgrade in there. Go this way. There we go. That's a little better firepower. Let's go this way. That's very nice. some of the Germans treasures that PC speaker is honestly a little annoying the fact that it makes a noise every time you bump into a wall jeez yeah a sound card is definitely going to be in the plans for this machine someday Considering this is a 286 with only 16 megahertz and 3 megs of RAM, I'm actually impressed at how it is running, to be perfectly honest. Skeleton. Don't do anything with that. No. There's some food, but I don't need it. I guess that skeleton didn't like his food, huh? <laughs> well, I. No. I'm not gonna make that joke. Oh, hey. <laughs> something behind me. Alright, a couple of you guys. I'll take that ammo. And another clip. Nice thing to have. Some more food here. Oh, this must be a kitchen, like a dining area. All sorts of tables. They even left me food on the ground. It wasn't that nice of them. Oh, I see a dog. Here, dog. There you go. Good boy. Play dead. <laughs> oh, I think. <clears throat> a little, uh, little 
dark humor there, but oh well. I already went in here. I'm actually enjoying this an awful lot. This is uh, not bad. A little more. Man, come on. I'll go back this way. A little more choppy than I would like, but that's okay. Oh, can't do anything with that. That was a little easy. Uh-oh. I forgot how hard those guys were to kill. Hope there isn't another one. Oh, hey. I hate to burst your bubble there, buddy, but I got a, I got a missing mission to accomplish. Making a YouTube video and you're wasting my time. You too. And you. I'll go hiding around the corner. There we go. Grab another clip. No? Maybe I need a key off that guard. Or I'm just going the wrong way entirely. Well, you know what? I'm supposed to go this way. Let's see here. We'll go this way. There's some food. I need that. hate that noise. That is ear grating. There's the key. Yeah, the SS officers are always some of the hardest ones to take down, especially in the beginning stages. Before you have better firepower. Oop! Oh. Oop! Oh. There we go. I say we exit out of Wolfenstein 3D and uh, try another game here. Get psyched. Well, we'll come back to this. Let's save the game. Let's see. Call it 286 win. Wouldn't exactly call this a win, but it runs decently, adequately at least. All right, let's see what else we got on here. Let's see here. You know what? We're going to give King's Quest 2 a try. Just, uh, oop. Rookie mistake there. Didn't even change the directories yet. Ah. is now king of Daventry. Under his wise rule, Daventry is prosperous. He's loved by his people. Unfortunately, there's a problem. King Graham needs a queen for companionship and to provide an heir to the throne. He searched high and low for the right maiden, but he remains alone. Okay. There we go. Let's see here. Let's bring the speed up a little bit. That's better. Just for grins, let's see if that turbo button works. I guess it's not affected by the processor. Let's see here. A cozy cottage is located in a thick wood. A patio shades the front entrance and flowers adorn a window box. Okay, let's see if I can open. Oops. You can't do that, at least not now. Oh, we can't commit mail fraud in here. Oh, you know what? Something funny I remember you could do in this game. If you went into the water and didn't get out quick enough, you'd drown and it would play a funny little sound effect. 
You splash around the water for a while, but seem to have forgotten how to swim. Unfortunately, you drown. <laughs> Canon Roberta Williams wish to thank you wish to thank you for playing King's Quest 2. We are very sorry that you did not succeed and hope that you will fare better next time. Good luck. Okay, well let's uh exit out of here. See if there's anything else we can do on here before the end of the video. You know what? I'm gonna play this other game. A game called Demon Blue. This was a game that my aunt used to play on her old 486SX laptop. And I copied it from there. And let's see how it runs on a 286. Actually, probably a little better because it seemed to run a little fast on her 486. Let's see. Uh, keyboard and PC speaker. There we go. There we go. Kind of a creepy looking game, but fun. Oh, let me get that drop there. Yes, this is a lot more playable on the 286. On the 486, the uh, monsters ran around so darn fast you couldn't avoid them no matter what you did. This might be a game I can test the turbo button. Oh yeah, that's with turbo disabled, then with turbo enabled. Yeah, it does make a difference there. You can avoid that angel there, or whatever he is, cherub. sunglasses there. Ah! I got killed it. Game over. Now let's exit out of here. No, I do not want to play again. Let's see if control Q exits. No? I have to actually use escape. There we go. Can't really think of much else to do on here, so uh, I'd say that's pretty much it. Well, I would say that's about it for our um, build and uh, playthrough, kind of, of my 286 build. Um, final thoughts, I mean, it's not a bad machine. It's a 286, um, so it's not the fastest in the world. There were slower 286 processors, like I think they had an 8 megahertz, I think they had a 10 megahertz, I think there was a 12 in there, and I think there was a faster one too, but it wasn't by AMD or Intel. I cannot remember the brand off the top of my head, but I remember they, I think they had a 20 megahertz 286, but um, for what it is, it's not a bad machine, it's a nice one to have in the collection, and yeah. Gonna be a nice little addition. It's the only 286 I got, so she um, kind of holds that spot in the collection pretty well, <laughs> being the only one. Anyway, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Please comment what you thought of the video in the comment section down there. I'd appreciate it. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I'm gonna try to make videos at least once a week or once every two weeks depending on my schedule it's very busy but I want to keep on making um, videos like this I've noticed that retro computing has become a lot more popular in recent years 
so I want to you know showcase you know my um, my interests in vintage computers as well anyway I want like I said thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you in the next video catch y'all later